At this point, Henry Cavill and Superman go hand in hand, kind of like Christian Bale and Batman. No one else just seemed good enough for this role. In today's video, we'll talk about how DC Boss has debunked rumors about Henry Cavill's contract. We'll also talk about how Cavill's Superman is quite essential to the DCEU, according to Dwayne Johnson. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to learn all about it. First up, the DC Boss debunks the rumor. James Gunn isn't happy with how things are right now, nope. But has he ever been happy? Previously, he called out fans who claim to know anything and everything about the future of DCU. And now, the co-CEO has taken to Twitter to set an example by debunking the latest Superman rumor. So, as we all know at this point, Black Adam featured a surprise return for Henry Cavill's Superman in his post credit scene. This kind of potentially hinted that there might be a future clash between the two heroes. Following this incredible comeback, Cavill teased all of us fans. He stated that we saw only a very small taste of what's coming for Superman ahead of his DCEU future. And on top of that, his return as Superman comes after reports have indicated that Man of Steel 2 is already in production. But don't worry, folks. We'll talk a little about that, too, at the very end of the video. However, as we all know, things are always a lot more complicated than they look, because despite Cavill's enthusiasm about his comeback, there are still looming concerns about whether he signed a contract or not. The problem is, there's been a frustrating update that the Man of Steel sequel is yet to be in development. That has left many fans concerned and anxious about the whole thing. Now James Gunn has finally shed some light on the actor's contract situation with DC Studios. So let's talk about that. Next up, Gunn speaks up. So here's what happened. Geekosity Mag published an article claiming that Henry's new contract as Superman will include TV appearances. And that, well, that struck a nerve with James Gunn because he did what we all do when we're frustrated. He took to Twitter. He flat out debunked these rumors and called out the outlet on the Bluebird app. He also reiterated that absolutely no one other than him and his co-CEO Peter Safran knows what's happening at DC Studios. He also stated that no one knows about any new contracts for anyone was Whatsoever. And since there's no chance of a leak, all this news is utterly false. Gunn tweeted, I'm not sure if you're purposely lying or being taken advantage of by someone lying to you. But as I've stated on here before, no one knows what's happening at DC Studios right now other than me and Peter. That would include writing up any new contracts for anyone at this point. So yeah, he's pissed. And he doesn't like what folks have been saying. Folks, make sure to not get excited by news from some publisher willing to lie to you so easily. Up next, will he officially announced Man of Steel 2. James Gunn's latest comments have clearly indicated that he's not messing around with debunking rumors that concern DC. So we're going to be extremely careful here, only giving y'all the most authentic information there is. As far as his debunking is concerned, let's not forget that this isn't the first time that the Guardians of the Galaxy director has been pissed off at these so-called insiders. In fact, he's recently called these fake insiders out by stating that anyone who says that they know anything is clearly bull****. We hope his strong choice of words will remind you guys that he's quite tired from all this. And while it's disappointing for us and for most other fans that the situation behind the Mission Impossible actors is still pretty unclear, remember folks, patience is key. Because reports have noted that Peter and Gunn's long-term plan for the franchise might be revealed in the next two months. So like somewhere in January 2023. The point is folks, hold your horses. Rather than speculating, just relax, live your life, celebrate the holidays with your loved ones and wait for something official. Moving on, when will he announce it? While we just mentioned that we'll get an update probably sometime around January 2023, will Man of Steel 2 also be announced around the same time? It's possible, because Gunn might just ultimately confirm the movie during that imminent announcement. And that's exactly why we think he's been debunking claims left and right these days. On the other hand, though, there could be a slight possibility that more terms are needed to be discussed with Cavill before they can just outright announce what's next for Superman's future in the DCU. As DC enters a new era, we really do hope that things get clear in 2023. We really do hope that it's the studio, not the unreliable magazines that are telling us what's going to happen. And most importantly, we really do hope that we get to keep the same Superman that we know and love. With that out of the way, folks, let's talk about how Dwayne The Rock Johnson thinks that Henry Superman is absolutely essential to the DCEU. We're actually really glad that The Rock sides with us on this one. First and foremost, Johnson says Henry is essential. So, as we just mentioned, Henry Cavill recently returned as the Man of Steel in the DCEU for Black Adam, and that made the fans just so very happy. Because of that, Dwayne Johnson asserts that Cavill's role in DC movies 
is absolutely essential. One of the worst kept secrets in the world was the Black Adam post credits scene that included Henry Cavill's Superman. This marked The Witcher's actor's formal return to the DCEU. This was so crucial because after all the drama surrounding the Justice League, the future of the superhero in the universe was just straight up uncertain. When talking about Henry's exciting return, Johnson shared a special video on Twitter celebrating the movie's home release. In that video, he stated that they, by which he meant the DC Studios, have to bring back the most unstoppable, powerful force of all time in any universe. Then he addressed the fans by stating, you guys know who I'm talking about, after which he states, it's Superman, that's Henry Cavill. So the 6'5 actor has made his opinion on Cavill quite clear. We're just glad it's almost the same as our opinion. He further continued telling the fans that at the end of the day, the studio wasn't bringing Henry back, inexplicably and inexcusably, but he and everyone else weren't going to take no for an answer. He also revealed that this has been years in the making and that they had to bring him back with strategic conversations. He then reiterated that everyone was not going to take no for an answer. Now for what else did he say? Here's the thing. Warner Brothers has undergone many radical changes in the past year alone. This includes new leadership and also a renewed emphasis on a cinema-only films. However, with Aquaman 2 and The Flash movie both set for 2023 releases, the studio still seems to be fully committed to building out the DCEU, despite its obviously checkered past. And well, for The Rock, that's just not possible with Superman. He stated that there's absolutely no viable, logical way to build out the DCEU without the greatest superhero and the most powerful force ever sitting on the sidelines. He also claimed that it's impossible to do. He said that you can Venn diagram this thing 90 times, but at the end of the day, it'll all come back to where's Superman. He then also stated that you just can't not have Superman in the mix. And that's why, along with other folks, he fought so hard to bring the hero back. To learn more about the Superman movie, you can check out, seriously, what did you think we were going to say here? Don't check out anything. Most of it's going to be fake news. Just look out for statements from DC Studios itself. And that's going to be the most reliable source of information for y'all. Just go, relax, and put your faith in James Gunn. Finishing up, if there is a movie, Superman's going to be more inspiring this time, hopefully. When talking to a publication, he stated that he's very close to the character and that he has a really close connection with him. He especially likes the hero's ability to make people feel powerful and make them feel like Superman themselves. He stated that he has plenty of desires when it comes to this, but the most important thing is he wants people to get hope from the character. He wants that when we leave the cinema, everyone should feel like they can protect and that they can fly. He wants everyone to have what Superman has. To be honest, folks, that's going to be kind of awesome, not going to lie. A Superman like that? Sign us up. The video has now come to an end. Do you folks think that The Man of Steel 2 will be announced in January 2023. Leave your thoughts in the section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. See you in the next one.